super juicy, spicy on the outside, sweet on the inside. If you're not making this this weekend, I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm Chewy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this tasty pork pinwheel with a bit of spice that's going to kickstart your taste buds. So sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. I grabbed this 850 gram skinless pork belly from Gippsland Premium Meats. They then put it through their tenderizer three times, which flattened it out and stretched it for me. So all the prep and trimming is done, and I won't be needing a knife. Ah, oh, that was dangerous. So I suggest get to know your local butcher and they'll look after you. Or go see mine. Tell them Shuey sent you. Gippsland Premium Meats out at Berwick, Victoria. Now we want to pack a lot of flavour into this dish. So into a bowl, we're going to start with some maple syrup, some grated apple, some brown sugar and some black pepper, kosher salt and some chopped garlic. Finish it off with some lemon zest. Now just mix it up really, really good. And then we just want to get it onto one side of the pork belly and we're going to spread it all out. And then all we need to do is roll it up as tight as you can. Ooh, it's moist. Then all we need to do is hold that together with some skewers that we've soaked in water for at least an hour before we use them. Stab, stab. Dab, 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 dab. Roll it on its side and just push your skewers all the way through. Just to hold the pinwheel together. Be careful, don't poke your finger. It hurts. Easy so far, yeah? I don't think it gets any harder from here. The outside of this pork pinwheel is looking bland. So let's liven it up with some spice. Into a bowl, let's put some smoked paprika, some kosher salt, some black pepper, Two dogs barking. <laughs> some oregano, some garlic powder, bit of onion powder. Ah, oh, it never goes in. And to give it a little kick, some cayenne pepper. Mix this up really well, but don't touch yourself. This cayenne pepper hurts in certain areas. So we need to coat the outside of the pinwheel in some olive oil and just brush it on. Make sure you coat everywhere. Flip it over and do the other side. And don't forget to get the ends. And then all we want to do is sprinkle that rub on the outside. Don't forget the ends. Flip that over. Woohoo! This recipe requires a little heat. By all means though, if you can handle more, go for it. Today, I'm going to be using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm going to be pairing it up with some charcoal baskets because I want to be roasting at temps around 240 degrees Celsius today. How I'll do that is I'll fill up a chimney starter with briquettes. I'll light them up. Once they're fully ashed over, I'll put my charcoal baskets in the center of the charcoal grate and dump the fuel in. Now, using a pair of tongs, I'm going to spread the baskets out to the outer edges of the charcoal grate. And we also need to add a tray to catch any of the juices. And put the grill in place. And the lid on, opening all the vents, and we're going to give that 10 minutes to warm up. This would be a great time to subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button's going to allow you to be notified every time I drink more beer. When the web is at temp, we can just pop the pork pinwheel right in the middle of the two charcoal baskets on the cooking grate. Then we just want to insert an internal temp probe, then pop the lid back on, keeping the vent to one side over one of the charcoal baskets for the first 30 minutes of the cook. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin the lid 180 degrees for the rest of the cook. And we're just gonna set the internal temp probe to 74 degrees Celsius. Did you know Shui's Barbecue has a Facebook group? You do now. Today I'm cooking with a temp of 240 degrees Celsius. And all up, this cook's gonna take around 45 minutes to an hour. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. You may as well make that a three beer cook. We both know you're going to anyway. 30 minutes is up, so it's time to turn the lid. Now using a heat proof glove, hang on to the wire, and that way you can spin the lid and you won't lose the heat. At this stage of the cook, the smell must be driving your cameraman wild. It is. Good. Well, look at that. The pork has reached 74 degrees internally. So we can just get this off the heat and we're gonna let that rest for about 15 minutes. Now I do suggest removing the skewers because they just don't taste great. How good does that look? And it smells incredible. Sometimes you cook something and you just know. It is that good, it should be illegal. 
Mm. As always, cheers for watching.